Good evening, family. This is our reading for July the 20th, titled Cling to Me. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our um, new family members. Welcome to um, our prayer warriors. I thank you so much for being here. Blessing and healing to all our land. I hope you had a very good day. I was out of here until out of here about eight o'clock this morning and didn't get back home until about seven this evening. So I have our reading that I'm going to do for our July 20th title, Cling to Me, Amen. And then I'm going to do our reading for July 21st, The Journey, Amen. Father, Lord, thank you first and foremost, for this time to just take a few moments to pray with you, to talk with you, Lord, to give you our day, our time. Lord, for being with us, Lord, throughout the day, even amidst, Lord, things that we weren't even expecting, you stayed with us. You continue to stay with us, Lord, for you said we are never alone. So I ask, Lord, for your continued blessing. You said you never leave us nor forsake us. A promise we can hold on to. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessing and healing to all our land. Remember those who we are praying for, Lord. And um, we've added this week also Steve and Deborah for reconciliation at the request of Brother Steve, Lord. I met him this week. Lord, continue, Father, to um, be his strength and encourage his heart, Lord. And by your grace, Lord, that you would reunite Steve and his wife. Blessing and healing, Lord, to all of our land. Remember Dave as well, and Tony, little Annie, Pastor Larry, Pastor Kibble, and um, Robert Rainey as well, Lord. Um, continue to cover him, Lord, and bless him with recovery. And Lord, the last we heard was he had got started having use of his limbs back, Lord. And our prayer was for his speech to return. By your grace, I pray, Lord, you would grant him back his speech. Lord, bless us and heal us all in Jesus' name. Amen. July 20th, cling to me. Cling to me, beloved, for my right hand supports you. When you hold on to me in childlike dependence, you are demonstrating your commitment to me. I use difficult times to refine your faith. I use difficult times to refine your faith and prove that it is uh, that it is genuine. As you cling to me in the midst of adversity, your faith grows stronger, and you are comforted having endured various trials. You gain confidence that you can cope with future hardships with my help. You realize more and more that I'll, I will always be available to help you. In the middle of the night or in the midst of tough times, remember that my right hand supports you. This hand that holds you up is strong and righteous. There's no limit to how much support it can provide. Amen. So when you're feeling overwhelmed, don't give up. Instead, look to me and my strength. Amen. Be assured that my powerful hand is also righteous. What it provides is good. Do not fear, for I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 63 verse 8 reads, Old Testament, my soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. In the New Testament, 1 Peter 1 verse 7, these have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed, amen. Psalm 105 verse four reads, look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always, amen. 
and lastly from the New Old Testament as well. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Abba Father, for this reading this evening. I pray, Lord, that it is a refreshing thoughts and encouragement, Lord, to someone's heart. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who is here. Continue to bless us and heal us and keep us. Lord, we are here meeting as a small group of people, Lord. But Father, you have allowed us to become prayer partners. And Lord, we are adding to and changing people's lives because the words we speak that come out of our mouths, Lord, Father, you have allowed them to be acceptable in thy sight. And Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Amen. And amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family, for being here. Thank you. Um, have a wonderful evening. Or maybe you're just starting your day, so good morning to you or good afternoon to you, or good evening, or maybe good night. Wherever you are in your day, the blessings of the Lord with you. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, wherever you are in your journey. And remember that as much as I love you, and I pray for you all, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most, and his love is the greatest. Amen. See you later, family. Amen.